years old. And I lived here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I'm originally from California. My wife and one kid, we're all here and now. I'm a truck driver delivering produce for the city. Yeah, my hobbies, I love motorcycles. I have been doing that for 10 years and I can't get enough of it. The next thing I love doing is skydiving. Have been doing that for a while and pretty much anything I have my blood going has my attention. I can't get enough of it. The last but not least, whatever, is probably my best way of working out. I love going to the origins. Pretty much expressing any kind of energy and effort and competition, whatever. That's my thing. The person that inspires me the most is my wife. She uh, pretty much backs me up on everything I do. And one of the biggest questions is, can you do a great community warrior? And she pretty much backed me up on that whatever and pretty much encouraged me to do this. A little bit more about my background. I'm a veteran. Served the Army. Did five years from 05 to 2010. I went to Iraq from 07 to 09. Came back and came home. Back to Colorado Springs, Colorado. One of the things you should know to share my story, uh, I'm an IVF ninja, meaning in vitro fertilization. We, my wife, have been going through uh, some encounters with the doctor trying to find out whether or not if I could have kids or we could have kids. Uh, it's been a ride, up and down, kind of emotional and very frustrating. Uh, nobody wants to find out that they can't have kids and can't pursue uh, further endeavors and have babies of their own. So just going through this process, have maybe respect and see others just like me in, in vitro fertilization, the struggles of actually having kids. I was a father for about eight weeks. Uh, my wife and I, we did get pregnant through the IVF program. Uh, the baby had a heartbeat. She, we found out it was a girl. And she had a strong heartbeat. But for some reason, she couldn't last that long. It came out to the eighth week and there was no heartbeat there. Uh, we had a miscarriage. One of the hardest things that we uh, encountered through the program, and I think me and my wife, we just were going to bear with it. But it's all about the struggles of keep going. Don't stop there. So we'll continue our process and trials of IVF. One of the funny things that you'll probably find out to be actually funny, just by looking at me. I wouldn't look like an interior decorator, but it's one of the things I enjoy doing. Uh, did sell different houses, and I, I actually did the house that I'm in now, and I love it. One of the motivating factors of this video is that people really underestimate me. I, I'm a challenger, and I'm a, I'm a competitor, a decent one. So, doing this Ninja Warrior, I feel as though I could be the next new American Ninja Warrior. I really feel as though I can actually provide something to the action floor that nobody else can. But it's all about getting that shot. So the more I'm underestimated, the more I'm motivated to do and prove them wrong. What this opportunity means to me is that anything's possible. If you have the urge or anything inside of you to go 